In this reaction, we have perchloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. That's HClO4 plus NaOH. So let's write the net ionic equation. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so we don't need to do anything. So that's convenient. Then we need to write the state for each substance. So this is a strong acid. Perchloric acid is a strong acid, so it'll dissociate or split apart completely into its ions. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base, so we write aqueous. It'll also dissolve in water and split apart into its ions. Sodium perchlorate, that's going to be aqueous as well. And then water, that's a liquid. Put a little L after it. So we have the states. Now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into the ions. That's going to be the complete ionic equation. So we need to know the ionic charge for each of these substances up here, for all the ions that are involved. If we look on the periodic table, hydrogen, that's in group 1. All those elements have a one plus, so we'll put a plus here. The perchlorate ion, you could look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, that has a negative charge. Sodium, in the same group as hydrogen, group one on the periodic table, plus the hydroxide, that has a one minus charge. So we said plus, minus, and then for liquids, we're not gonna split this water up into its ions. It's gonna stay H2O in our net ionic equation. We've got the ions, let's split them up. We have H plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end, I won't do it now, plus ClO4 minus, that perchlorate ion, plus Na plus sodium ion, plus the hydroxide ion, OH minus. So those are the reactants. Let's write the products down here. Let's give ourselves a little more room. In the products, we have Na plus, and then the for chlorate ion again, ClO4 minus, and we'll keep the water together. That is a liquid, so we don't split that apart. So this is what we call the total or complete ionic equation. So now we can cross out spectator ions. These appear on both sides. They don't change. So we have H plus here, but in the products we don't, so we can't cross that out. ClO4 minus, we have it here, and in the products here, we can cross it out. Na plus right here and here again, cross it out. Then the OH minus, we don't have that in the products. So our net ionic equation, that's what we have right now, here's H plus, OH minus, and H2O. So H plus plus OH minus yields H2O. Let's clean this up and write it out again here on the bottom. And this is the net ionic equation for HClO4 plus NaOH, perchloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.